all right so we are back with a, another video now if you're tuning in and you watch this video i thank you so we've been getting a lot done on the large remote control boat you can see here um, and it's coming on it's coming along i should say really really well but lately uh once i finished the uh i think they're called sponsons I moved over to 3D printing uh, and printed a bunch of parts. Now, before I go into the parts, I want to let everyone know that this cabinet that I built, uh, there is two videos available. There's a short one and a long one. Uh, my suggestion is check out the short one. It's pretty informative. But if you've got the time, do go and have a look at the longer video. Um, it's a lot more informative. And... Uh, yeah, really, really well. Um, it's been extremely cold here in Australia. That's why I've always got my hoodie. This is my work hoodie and just a cheap beanie from eBay that I just kind of wear all the time because it keeps my head warm. Um, but yeah, the cabinet keeps everything warm um, and just keeps everything nice. So there'll be two videos in the description for everyone to check out. But So back to the normal video, I jumped into 3D printing and printed some really cool items so the first one i printed was a 70 mil uh prop for the for the boat uh has a about a 5.5 millimeter shaft input here diameter and that thing came out really 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 good um and the funny thing is i actually ordered some 40 mils which were in the toolbox and then when they arrived i immediately knew that it wasn't going to have enough power to push this thing um, well it may have pushed it but not very far uh, and then I ordered uh, the night after I got the 40 mils I ordered some 55 mils but clearly they're not going to be big enough so this is a 70 um, and I think that may be perfect but I can always print a 80 mil then we moved on to this now this here is the um the rudder bracket that i designed uh has two holes here to mount it and then a hole obviously top and bottom for the rudder system and the next thing is designing the actual thing that's going to hold the rudder and what is going to actually steer the boat and the little arm to attach the servo to so this thing came out super nice and yeah couldn't be more pleased with how that turned out just really really nice so yeah that's about it um, you can see it's all all just basically coming along uh, the 3d printing really kind of sped up parts that would be kind of a bit of a pain to make by hand even though you probably could make it by hand um, it just speeds up the workflow. So once again, if you have tuned into the video, um, you're liking the RC boat build and you're liking the projects that I'm doing so far. So this is an RC boat kind of part four, but it's kind of incorporating the 3D printing lifestyle as well. So, you know, you may see this on a, a few Facebook pages related to 3D printing, obviously because of the 3D printing. But everyone, feel free to uh, check out the videos in the description. Um, and that's it. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.